is we're doing a cordon pruning and we look at this cordon we laid out last year and it's too weak. It only has one one spur. So I'm gonna cut the whole cordon off. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, the whole cordon is cut off on this side. See it's gone. But now I need to lay a cane down one of these canes here for next year to make a cordon. So I'm going to look for a cane that's the strongest cane. And this one looks the biggest here, but let's see how it fits. Yeah, that looks like it's going to make it, see? I like that cordon because it's nice and straight here. So we tie the cordon on, but it's a cane that's going to be the cordon for next year. And we always put two knots. So you tie in between the nodes where the canes come out. You go around once to hold it snug, and then you tie two knots. And then you break it off. Now let's look on the other side. The other side has one, two, three spurs, so it's good. I'm going to leave that cordon. And I'm going to count up one bud, two bud, three buds. One bud, two bud, three bud, that being the basil bud, and cut it off. So here is one, two, three, cut it off. And then uh, this is a nice long cane. So we're going to keep that for tying wreaths. Okay, so now I look at what's left and um, decide which ones we're going to keep. So I'm going to keep this as a renewal spur in case that one doesn't make it. I'm going to cut that off. Okay, now what's left is a bunch of cane sticking up. And now the canes that are left, I'm going to keep about four or five of them, but I want them to be spaced out. So this one's too far down, cutting that off, and I'm going to keep this one. So I count up one, two, three buds, cut, that's a spur. And then this is a spur here, I like this one. So I'll cut this other one off. This one right here is pointing toward close to that one, so it just gets cut off. And then I'm going to keep one of these two. Which one would you keep? Okay. So we'll keep this one here. Um, that, in case we need some canes for next year to tie on the cordon, for some reason, and then one, two, three, cut it off, get rid of all the extra canes, and there it is. So we got this cane, it's going to be the new cordon. We got a cordon over here with one, two, three, little one, four, five spurs, and then about four spurs in the middle that are equally spaced. Okay, so that's it for that one. Okay, so we're on to our next vine. I've got two choices here for this cane. I think I'll choose this one. So what we do is we leave three buds, one, two, three, and cut off, um, because each bud produces two bunches of grapes. So this spur right here has six bunches of grapes. So what I do is I choose um, enough spurs so that the vine will have the correct amount of crop. So depending on the pruning, the more buds you leave, the more um, clusters of grapes you have. Each bud gives two bunches of grapes. So you can count like this plant here has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, about 32 buds. So this vine right here will have um, 64 bunches of grapes if it all goes well. And then we'll come through and thin it. So depending on um, the vine, how strong it is, um, type of grape, and we leave a number of buds accordingly. And um, 
this is a symphony grape here, very prolific. prolific. So it, um, it has big giant clusters and uh, lots of grapes, so we'll end up thinning it.